Hello, my name is Aftab Faruqi and I'm with Micron's DRAM Solutions Group. Today I would like to talk to you about our 3DS technology. Continuing with the innovation in DRAM device design, DRAM fabrication processes, and component stacking, Micron is actively working with our JEDEC partners towards standardizing the use of 3DS technology in next generation modules. The idea behind 3DS is to employ a specially designed and manufactured master and slave DRAM die with only the master die interfacing with the external memory controller. 3DS technology uses optimized DRAM die, single DLL per stack, reduced active logic, single shared external I.O., improved timing, and reduced load to the external interface. The net benefits of these features are lower power consumption, improved rank-to-rank -rank access timing, single loads promoting faster bus speeds, better signal integrity, and less overhead. To highlight one way in which Micron's 3DS DRAM can improve system performance, we're using a demonstration platform that uses Micron's 32 gigabyte LRDIM in a Sandy Bridge system. The 32 gigabyte LRDIM is composed of 36 8 gigabit stack devices. Each 8 gigabit device is composed of one 4 gigabit master DRAM and one 4 gigabit slave DRAM fabricated using Micron's 42 nanometer process technology. The signals captured on the screen show the memory bus commands decoded, clock, one data DQ, and one DQS strobe signal. In this example, the system is running a test software package using random data. In the first case, we show a timing limitation when reading from one rank and then from another. Due to the system limitation, there is a one cycle gap on the data bus, which impacts overall system bandwidth. Micron's 3DS devices offer the opportunity to eliminate this timing gap between read accesses from one rank to another. Our 3DS device can accept read commands to different ranks such that the data bus is in constant use. In the second case, we are observing how data is continuous when the system issues consecutive read commands on the same rank. A 3DS optimized system will similarly take advantage of this tighter timing and be able to see improved data bus utilization and bandwidth when reading from different banks. 3DS truly offers a giant leap in high density higher performance and bandwidth, power savings, as well as reduced latency compared to modules using non-3DS devices. Lower power consumption is the net result of significantly reduced loading to the external interface. Consider a four rank by four module using four DRAM die in a quad die package using standard DRAM die and conventional stacking would necessitate by four data signals routed from each DRAM die to the external interface, as opposed to just by four interface to the master DRAM device. Higher performance and bandwidth will be realized due to our TSV technology, significantly reducing the interconnect length, resulting in much reduced capacitive as well as inductive delays. Thank you for watching. I hope you found our quick discussion of 3DS technology useful. If you have any comments or questions, please post them at microneblogs.com.